to removing cherry switches fast is this tweezer. Uh, it's got a little wooden handle there, like a couple bucks at a local shop nearby. Basically, you take this and uh, you have to do, I start with, if, if I'm going to remove a mass amount of switches, I go every other switch. So if I'll start here, I'll take this switch, pop it under the lip, and make sure that the back side, um, top side of the angled stem is resting on the right side of the switch. Pop it open. Skip this one, go to the next one, that was open already, go down the line, pop them all open. Now the goal in this, um, and the reason that you do every other is because if you pop one of the middle ones, when you go back to pop the opposite side, and you go to pop it, you're going to end up closing switches. See, I've just barely put any pressure on it, and it closes that switch. So uh, by doing every other one, when you go back to pop the switches off, uh, you're putting pressure either on an empty switch if you're in the second half of the process or if in the first half uh, you're using uh, putting pressure on the, the uh, full, uh, fully closed uh, switch. So uh, after you're done with this, um, the first half you come back here. Now I, I'm right handed so I'd use my left hand when I'm doing the second pop when they're actually going to fully pop off. I usually use my left index finger. Just put a little pressure on the top so when you pop off the second half it doesn't go flying anywhere. You can lose stems and uh, springs pretty easily when that happens goal here is to get them all uh, basically so that they're hanging off so um, you can remove the top halves like this and remove the stems I usually do it like that and then just pull the, the springs out uh, if you're doing an entire board and you're just trying to salvage it um, like this particular board I'm probably just going to salvage some brown springs and stems out of I do half the board let them all hang off like this and then dump them into a metal tray It'll get rid of about 90% of it. Some of, the, some of the springs are stuck in there, but it's a quick and easy way to get through that. A lot easier to sort in, in, in a tree as opposed to, you know, grabbing them individually. Also, one thing to remember uh, with these angled tweezers, you don't have to remove the cherry stabilizers. You can actually uh, just go in and pop up and then do the same thing from the opposite side. And it's now removed. So... Good thing to remember, and that is how you remove cherry switches like a pro.